Uh, hey, good morning, y'all. I was uh, putting extra wafers in my padlocks because I don't know if I'm going to put this video up or not, but I was talking about padlocks and how I put the extra wafers, the anti-break, anti-bypass wafers in all American padlocks that we sell. So as I was doing that this morning and setting up ones that are key to light, key different groups of them that way if I'm not here somebody needs a padlock they can just come in and get it so the 1105s don't come with any so we add one the 1205s and all the other ones come with one in there see it down in there and I always add two and stack them up and purportedly, supposedly, I, I don't have one of those tools or anything, but having the double layer will not necessarily stop the punch tool from breaking through, but I would think that with two in there, it would cause so much, like, when it punches through, right, when you punch through metal with something sharp, it leaves little jagged edges, right, that stick out. So imagine that it would cause the tool that goes through the punched hole to not be able to manipulate the thing. So anyway, what I was sitting here thinking was, okay, if you add two, can you add three? Can you add four? Can you add 23? Probably not. So I was gonna, I was gonna check and see, and I thought, hey, let's do a video on it, right? Always do a video on it. So we've got two, and I know two work fine because we sell them with two all the time, but let's go ahead and add a third one and see what happens. At some point, it's basically just gonna push the cylinder out too far to not be effective. So, because that does have to stick out far enough to, oh, oh. Another thing about putting multiple ones in here is it's kind of hard to do. Kind of have to do a little balancing act. Of course, you could just stack them in here. Oh. You could just drop them down in the body. Normally I do the balance on that because sometimes it's easier to do, but once we get up to three, let's just put it in there, line it up, and drop our cylinder in. You can see it's, I don't know if it's sticking out too far or what here. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we got three in. Let's see how that does. And now we're going to have to go through unscrewing and rescrewing and all that, but really there's no way to tell for sure until you try it, right? Okay, we're getting stiff right there already. See, I'm worried that what's going to happen is we're going to not turn that actuator. So three does work. But I honestly don't think over two is necessary. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is, they are laying our cement here behind you. The point of this video is to see how many you can stack up in there. So let's throw another one in. Making four. All right, there is four. Yeah, still snaps in. That still snaps in. Now you notice I'm trying the key before, always when you're in a padlock, try the key before you snap it shut. It's like the biggest, big, okay, we're too stiff. 
So four is too many. Three, in my opinion, is too many. The key is just barely turning there. Let me let me loosen it here and see what happens. Yeah, it's very it's tight. It's not as tight as it was. I'm almost kind of scared to snap it shut because if that doesn't actuate it, then this would be a dead padlock. Would we'd have to? It'd be useless. So I can't really feel a spring in there. So that leaves this all the way back to two. So while you could put three in there, I really, really wouldn't recommend it because what's happening with it stacked away from that, when you turn the key, the actuator, I mean, everybody probably knows this, but when you turn that, that is turning this mechanism, this little ledge right there, it's like making it turn. So the more of these you have stacked up, the less Number one, it pushes the cylinder down. That's why I was making it tight. Wait, where are we? Oh, I got all the focus set on. So with four stacked up, you have less of this contacting that, and also it pushes the cylinder back. So while you could do three, we are going to stick with two because that for sure is not a problem. These are fairly inexpensive in a bag of 10. And you're only adding one to the 1205s. Anything over 1105, you're only gonna, shoot, have to add one to. So whenever I order these wafers, I always order like 10 to 20 bags of them. Okay, there's three there. That way if I get a big batch of padlocks in, especially the 1105s, which don't come with these, definitely add them to your 1105s or your 5100s, which is the metal version. Okay, come on now. Oh, I got a, still got a wafer in there. That's my, that's my second wafer. There we go. So that satisfies my curiosity. I kind of assumed as much that going past two is a little, both not necessary and kind of drastic for the health of the padlock. But, always add two. And just in case you're wondering, I add the keys. Again, if I'm not here and Kim needs to sell padlocks, she can uh, sell them key to light, key different, whatever the case is. But invariably, these will get re-keyed to somebody's key. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great one.